So for today's story time, we're looking at Jesus walking on water. And I thought the best way of doing this today would be to act it out for you so you can see maybe what would have gone on in the boat, maybe what would have gone on. It's a bit crazy. So I've got a couple of helpers who I'm going to bring in. Okay, we have Joe, who's going to play worried disciples, Jesus' mates on the boat. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of a thing, what's going on. Peter is going to play Peter, because he's Peter. So, uh, this, is, this is how it's going to work. Jesus is tired. He's had a long, long day. You know, you had a long day, you want to put your feet up. This is Jesus, right? He's had a long day and he's tired. So he goes for a walk. The disciples, well, they're a bit hungry. So they go fishing, which is what they're good at. They're fishermen. All right, so the disciples are going fishing. So here's the scene. Disciples in a rowboat. Ooh, right. right. And, and what happens is they're in a rowboat and then they see Jesus, which scares them a little bit. Because, you know, you would if you're in the middle of a lake and there's no land. All right. So they see Jesus and then... Peter is going to do something really, really cool. So, here's the scene. We need some water. Okay, so put this on the floor. There's your water. All right. So, if you come over here, that can be the boat. We'll have the boat on that side. And here's the water. All right, there's the, there's the lake. Okay. Um, no expense spared. <laughs> and I'm going to pretend to be where Jesus is. Okay. All right, are you ready for this? So, here we go. So the disciples are tired. Jesus walks up a mountain. There you go. He walks <laughs> up a mountain. And then he's really, really tired. The disciples get hungry. Oh, oh. Okay, and they're fishermen oh. by trade. So they know how to catch fish. So they decide, we'll go, yeah, doing some fishing. But ooh, you need ooh. to be in the boat. Oh, yeah, we've got to get in our boat. In fact, can you push the boat that way? Yeah. You're in the, yeah. This okay. is our boat, is there. it? Well, leave a bit of space. That's okay, fine. we're in our boat. So. They're in the boat, they're doing a fish, and then there's Jesus appears. Okay? And they're a bit freaked out by this. Imagine that you go into the Isle of Wight, you're on the ferry, and you're thinking, oh, there's water all around, there's a bloke walking along beside the ferry. You'd be a little bit nervous. So, Jesus is stood there. Peter, we know, my son Peter, and the Peter in the Bible, which is where he gets his name from, um, he's a bit brave. He, he's a bit, let's do it. Okay, but let's go bungee jumping. He'd be the one at the start. See, it's so windy, he's even knocking the, the walls off the boat. So, this is what happens. They see Jesus, and they all go, ah. Oh, ah. Okay, and then Jesus says, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. So, Lord, if it's you. Lord, if it's you. Tell me to come to you on the water. Tell me to come to you on the water. Okay, so Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus has a sense of humour, I think, and he says to Peter, all right then, son, come this way. So Peter then gets out of the boat, not too far. Okay, you have to tread in the water. Imagine it's water. Yeah. What would you do? Would you just jump out? Uh, walk slowly. You'd be a bit nervous. You'd be Yay. testing the floor, thinking, well, is this actually going to be okay? So, and then what happens is the disciples, can you imagine the disciples? They'd be freaking out. Oh, here we go. Peter's off again. What's he going to do this time? So, then what happens? Peter freaks out and he starts to sink. He starts to sink and he says, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Okay, and Jesus, I'll be Jesus' hand, says, it's okay. Up you get. It's down the water. Whoa. Get in the water. There you go. Right. So he's on the water. And now the disciples are watching thinking, well, we knew Peter was a little bit crazy, but this is serious crazy. He's now on the water with Jesus. So this is what happens. They get out of the boat. They get to the land first. So we can get rid of the water. Okay. You can chuck that back that way. Oh. There we go. Water's gone. I get to chuck it back in my director. Oh. Right. So the water's gone. They're at the edge of the lake. They've all got there. And then Jesus and the disciples are on the beach. Some of the disciples are probably still hungry because they're in the middle of fishing. And, and they get out and they say, truly, you are the son of God. But if you're speaking to Jesus and you've just seen Jesus walking across the lake, like there's no bother. And then you see Peter, the crazy one, get out of the boat because he's brave. And then he walks across to Jesus, sings Jesus, picks him up. Then they get to the beach. You'd be kind of amazed. So 
if you're the disciples, you'd get down on your knees, okay, and you'd say to Jesus, truly, you are the Son of God. Truly, you are the Son of God. And that's the story, stand up there. <laughs> and that's the story of Jesus walking on water. It's amazing. Jesus, tired, long day, goes up a mountain, has a wander across a lake, as you do. Disciples, bit hungry, get in a boat, into the middle of the lake, storm comes up a little bit, water's raving and rushing. Whoa. Okay, if you're doing this at home, you can throw water at people. Whoa. That's okay. And then what happens is Peter, who's a bit brave, gets out of the boat, walks towards Jesus, has a moment of, I'm Peter, I'm a bit crazy, starts to sink, Jesus grabs him, they get to the shore, and then the reality sets in for the disciples. These are Jesus' best, bestest mates, and they're amazed by what Jesus can do. And now they're triply amazed, or a hundred times amazed. They run out of fingers and toes for how amazed they are. And this is the amazing thing of Jesus walking on water. We know that Jesus was a real man. We know he walked about the earth 2,000 years ago. So we can know that there's so many accounts of this stuff that Jesus actually walked on water. It's kind of awesome, which is why we like Jesus. And that's Jesus walking on water. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>